we all have seen wall clocks in our homes right the motion of the hour hand the minute hand and the second hand changes its position after a fixed interval of time the second hand repeats its motion after 60 seconds the minute hand repeats its motion after 60 minutes and the hour hand repeats its motion after 12 hours similarly day turns into night after 12 hours and night turns back into day in 12 hours so this cycle goes on the day turns into night in 12 hours and the night turns back into day in the 12 hours so this is a periodic change that means it takes place at a regular interval of time or after a fixed period of time so that is why it is called a periodic change so what is a periodic change changes that repeat themselves at regular intervals of time like the changing of day and night or rotation of the earth they are bound to happen that is we know that these changes will take place the day will turn into night after 12 hours and the night will turn back into day after 12 hours we know that this will take place this type of change can be predicted as we know that these changes are bound to happen we can predict them from before now what happens when an earthquake hits the earth some changes occur the changes are mainly destruction now can you tell me whether an earthquake takes place after a fixed interval of time or or after a regular interval of time no it can hit the earth again after a few seconds few hours or we can say many years it can hit the earth after a hundred years also so we know that we cannot predict when an earthquake will take place it is it may or may not happen it is not bound to take place so it is a non periodic change as it does not take place after a fixed interval of time it may take place at any time so what are non periodic changes certain changes that do not repeat themselves at regular intervals of time they can take place at any time and not after a fixed interval of time they are not bound to happen they as they can take place at any time they are not bound to happen we don't know whether these changes may or may not take place these type of changes cannot be predicted now these changes may or may not happen so we cannot predict these type of changes now you say what type of a change an eruption of volcano is well we do not know when and how a volcano will erupt so we have no idea about this whether it will take place or not so this type of change does not repeat itself regularly it may take place at any point of time so it is a non periodic change now what about waxing and waning of moon is it a periodic change or a non periodic change well waxing of moon means changing of the moon from the new moon to the full moon and waning of the moon means changing of the moon from full moon to new moon so we know that this type of change repeat itself after a fixed interval of time that is it is bound to happen we can predict this type of change so this type of change repeat itself after regular intervals of time say 15 days or 20 days so this is a periodic change so we learned that changes can be classified into periodic and non periodic changes